Now your storm track weather with meteorologist Gabriela Gomez. Good evening, Northeast Kansas. Well, it's definitely been rather rainy the past couple of days, and we managed to stay dry for the majority of your Saturday. There were a few spotty showers, but I think as we head into the overnight hours, we are done with the storms, and we're going to stay dry as, as we head into Sunday morning. Overall, a mostly dry Sunday as well. More sunshine, even more than what we saw today. There may be a few spotty showers around the lunch hour, if not early afternoon hours, but those cooler temperatures from the rain that we have been seeing, at least for the past couple of days, will slowly start to increase as we close out the weekend and start the next work week and overall the next week looks to be another rainy one in store for us as rain chances do return and increase especially by the middle of the week we do manage to stay mostly dry for the next 24 to 48 hours you can see some of those showers that were popping up earlier on this afternoon and evening a lot of those have since fizzled out or moved out of the viewing area and we cleared out quite nicely a clear and calm sky over Manhattan as well as our over our Emporia camera you can see the moon out there quite nicely this evening so it's a nice little break from the gloomy weather we had been seeing, but here in the capital city, we're clear here as well, sitting at about 74 degrees this evening. That dew point is in the upper 60s, so still on the humid side of things, but not as muggy as we saw earlier on today. But we were a little bit below average for this time of year. We normally see about 90 degrees as our high. We only hit about 86, and that was actually a little bit warmer than what we anticipated as well. We started off the day mild also in the lower 70s. Normally we see upper 60s this time of year. So overall, a kind of weird temperature trend, and that's pretty much because of all this rain. You can see temperatures across the state of Kansas, cooler temperatures on the eastern side as opposed to the western side because we've been seeing more rain than they have. And we're going to see those temperatures start to increase as we go over to at least the next 24 hours. We'll cool down in the middle to upper 60s, maybe some lower 60s for the eastern side of the viewing area, and then we'll really start to see them increase in the upper 80s for tomorrow afternoon. And then Monday Monday is when we really see them just around average for this time of year in the upper 60s for your Monday morning. And then there might be a little bit of some localized cooling for some more showers that might move through Monday morning. That could cause temperatures on the western side of the viewing area to be a little bit cooler. Otherwise, the rest of us will see temperatures in the 90s, if not lower 90s. And that muggy air is definitely not helping us either. We're still stuck in this muggy bubble with drier air to our west and our east. We don't really look to get a break from it either. Staying muggy or humid humid rather as we go into the overnight hours it may be a little bit of a dry slot it's going to stay with us and that muggy air does start to surge back as we head into Sunday afternoon and it's not going anywhere by the start of next week either stays with us into Monday if not getting some more of that oppressive air that makes its way and that moisture is really going to fuel our rain chances as well we're still stuck between two pressure systems that's why a lot of those rain showers and storms that we saw later in the week stayed over the same areas and that's why flooding was definitely a big concern but we should be done with the storms at least for the next couple of days staying dry as we head into Sunday morning, cloud cover may begin to increase. Maybe a few spotty showers, mostly on the western side of the viewing area, but mostly dry. The sun really does return by the evening hours, and I think the next day is just going to be nice overall. We'll see temperatures in the upper 80s for your Sunday and for your Monday as well. Maybe a few more spotty showers, so some spots may be seeing cooler temperatures on Monday, but our next best chance for some storms and showers will be in the middle of the work week as temperatures slowly increase to around average for this time of year. Definitely not feeling like your typical August weather. It's not. It's kind of weird to see 80s at <laughs> this time of year just yeah. before school starts. So Yeah, I think I'd rather, though, have like the little bit of rain rather than like the hot, The humid triple weather. digits we were seeing <laughs> late last month. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But hopefully not too much rain because I know the flooding, flooding is big. Definitely real. Yeah. That's